In this video, you're going to learn about pricing service design. You'll learn why you actually want objections and you'll learn how to get in front of the right people. The special guest in this video is Mike Killen. Let the show begin. Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Service Design Show. This show is all about helping you design organizations that put people at the heart of their business. And in order to do that, you actually need to convince clients to engage with you. And that sometimes poses some interesting challenges. In this video and this series of videos, we'll be talking about some of the more common and interesting sales challenges and the person who's going to lead us through these sales challenges and hopefully overcome them is the one and only Mike Killen. Welcome to the show, Mike. Hey, Mark. Thanks so much for having me on, man. Yeah, I'm really excited to talk with you. You have yeah, no, too, yeah. no background in service design, but we know each other through YouTube. You, run a, you actually run a channel called Sell Your Service. Yeah. Man, yeah. Wh what is that about? So basically, uh, I ran a marketing agency a little while back um, and... Uh, that did pretty well. I moved on from that. And the goal of what I do now is I'm, I'm the founder of Sell Your Service. You know, we have a small team. I basically help marketing agencies predominantly increase their prices, define a niche, and sell their services for at least $25,000 plus. I predominantly focus on marketing agencies because that's my background, but the reality is the majority of the training that I do, we work with translation companies, we work with you know uh, graphic designers, we work with uh, tourist companies and travel operators. Anyone who basically sells an intangible service, mm. we essentially help them close. Exactly, right? That's us. And, and, th <laughs> and this is the biggest problem that we're going to come up against on on these kind of these these great little training role play videos that we're going to do is. Just because it's intangible doesn't mean that it's harder to sell. Right. So right. that's that. That I don't think you need to necessarily have a firm background. And hopefully, when your guys are watching this, they'll be able to swap in and out words that maybe I misuse. But but I'm really excited to to, to kind of jump into this. Awesome. Yeah, and I'm I'm really excited to have somebody from outside of the service design community to give a perspective on that. You know, the things we're going to talk about are general sales challenges that are mm. usually not tied to service design but often to businesses that sell intangible stuff mm -hmm. i'm really excited we're going to do five videos this is the first video in uh, the series so make sure you keep watching until the end because we'll um, uh, give you a hint where the next one is in order to do these uh, videos i reached out to the service design community to get some of the challenges we picked three that we'll share with you in a minute but mike i want to go back with you uh down memory lane and try to understand when did you get excited about selling when did you realize that this is something you need to get better at it's interesting because uh, we've actually got a family of salespeople, and in uh, maybe in the uk it's the same sales in some respect is kind of looked down on it's it's treated a little bit as a role as something you do when you can't get a real job. And <laughs> the, the reality is I've actually found that nothing happens in any business ever until someone makes a sale. The, right. the cold, hard reality is that no one celebrates whether you're the best author, they care whether you're the best selling author. Right. And so I actually come from you know, a, a long line of salespeople and pretty early on, I, I liked the idea that I could, you know, help solve people's problems and um, could be kind of the core engine part. But the part when it really clicked for me is I did product design at university, so a lot of graphics and drawing and CAD and stuff, and I, I loved that idea. But it turns out I can't draw for money. I, I'm terrible at it, so I had to tack on a marketing. Uh, component to my degree in order to complete it. So I didn't design very good products, but I was really good at selling them. Mm. Uh, and I found actually you could be the world's best photographer, but if you're not as good as someone who can sell their photography, it doesn't matter. And from there, a big part of my background has been working with insurance companies, car rental companies, big software companies, um, predominantly working through the sales and marketing department. But now I'm pretty much exclusively focused on sales. Mm. Mm. Awesome. I think we're going to learn so much from you, man. I'm um, really excited to, so. you, to dig into the, the real challenges. So in the next video, we're going to help you to solve a real life sales challenge. And that will yeah. be when a client says, 
You know, well, Mark, your proposal is, is great, but that sounds pretty expensive for just two customer journey maps. So we'll hear about how Mark handles that uh, comment in this next video. So make sure you click over here and we'll see you over there.